Hey, Jay Sean. Um, I'm just curious, sometimes guys with ACLs end up saying like year two of recovery, if you feel different or even better than the previous year. Have you, have you noticed that at all? Do you feel even more healthy than last year? Um, I, feel, I definitely feel better. I, I think it's more of the, the brace. I got out of the brace and that was, I think that was holding back a little bit, but uh, I definitely feel good and it feel, feels good to be back out there. The first two games of the season have been a lot of Dante and a lot of Rakim, but on, uh, against Illinois, it was a lot of you in there. How, how does it feel to be a part of such a big receiver group? And how does it feel, you know, getting your opportunities like that in a game like that? Um, it's pretty cool. I, I actually enjoy, like, having the, the depth that we have. Like, you can't really stop all of us, in my opinion. So um, it, it's, it's honestly a blessing you know, to have those guys, and they push me every day to want to get better, kind of do some of the similar things that they do, and we kind of feed off of each other. So it, it's, it's actually fun. Coach was just in here talking about how proud he is of you guys able to overcome the adversity that you were able to overcome and win that game. As a player, how does it feel coming off a game like that and knowing what you guys are capable of? Um, it feels good because uh, it was it was a really tough game. It was a tough fight on the road. It is hard to win on the road in the Big Ten. Um, uh, it, it was it was good just to know that we didn't play our best game and there's a lot that we looked at on tape that we can clean up and that we can fix that was, that was on us and. Um, like it, 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 it's a it's a good feeling to know that we can clean that stuff up and be better next week. From a um, decision making standpoint, what have you seen from Talia from last year to this year that he's improved on and, and he's grown? Um, I feel like just all around, I, was, I feel like he's got better. He works hard and, and he studies hard, and that like that's that's him. And I feel like he's just grown and, and kind of built from last year and just and learned and, and grew and learned us and learned the offense, learned the team. And I feel like that's that's what that's what's helped a lot. I just want to get your thoughts on the defensive bats and the way they have brought to the table. What have you seen when you go against them in practice? Um, they're really good. It's a really versatile group. I feel like we got a DB that can. We have a DB that can do a little, little bit of everything. Uh, these DB can do something different, uh, which I think is very helpful, and, and it helps us as receivers going against that every day. I feel like we're facing some of the best competition we'll see day in and day out. So that, that helps us all as a group. Uh, it's early in the week, but what have you seen? Just early tape from Kent State. What sticks out to you about their defense that might be a challenge for you guys on the offensive side? Um, they're a really good team. And they're, they're, they're tough. They fight. Um, the, I think they played two ranked opponents, and they've been in pretty close games with them for most of the game uh, for those two teams. And I feel like this is going to be a good game, good fight. Emily, you go ahead. Um, just as someone who's in the receiver room with him every day, what what do you think makes Dante Dimas so difficult for other teams to cover? I mean, he's built like a house. He's six four, uh, 220. It's like it's hard to stop. And he's blazing. He's fast. He can move. Uh, he's really shifty as well. And uh, I, I don't I don't know how people I don't have know how people plan to guard that or stop that. <laughs> I know uh, Coach uh, has been working you in on punt returns a little bit more the last couple of weeks. Um, is this something new for you? Uh, are you are, how are you kind of settling into you know sharing the roles with Tardy? Um, it's not really new. I, I, I was the returner last year, so um, it's not really new. But uh, it's it's, it's kind of it's cool to be able to share it because Tardy can make plays too, and I like to see him get the opportunity to make plays because he used to play offense as well. And uh, it's actually fun just and we, we we have like we go back and forth and see who can do what on each return. So it's it's it's, it's kind of fun to, to have somebody like that back there with. Anything else for Jay Sean Moore? I was just wondering how with him down every first year, how much does that help you It, 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 that's exactly what it is. Just pick your poison. Whoever you think you want to stop, you can try. Uh, I, I think my role is just to kind of do my job, and, and, and when when plays come, just try to make them, just make the most of my opportunities. That's that's really it. In the back. In seasons past, how different is you know preparing for this week four matchup versus seasons you've already been through? Coach Lossie mentioned a lot about culture changing and growing and improving. You've been with it for a while now. What have you seen different from when you started to where it is now? 
Um, just just like what he preaches on uh, is, is handling adversity. Um, I feel like this this team is, has been able to so far, and I feel like we have to keep building to work on that because we are going to be in more a, a, a adverse situations. And uh, the the better we get at that, I think the better we'll be at the team. Going back to um, the the questions about the depth of the receiver room, it seems like since you've been here, you guys have just had a massive group of receivers, and you don't really see guys transferring out of the program. That happens sometimes when you have that type of depth. I mean, what, what do you think the mindset or characteristics of the group have allowed everyone to like just buy and say the course, even when you're maybe not getting as many catches as you might elsewhere? Um, I think we all just kind of want to see each other succeed, especially like uh, the guys in my class, like Daryl, Dante, and Cobbs. Like we came in together, and we kind of all want to see each other have the success that we're having. Uh, and I feel like we we felt like we've had a pretty good group in, in past years, and it's like now we're we're getting the opportunity to really show it off. I feel like we got a little glimpse of it last year, but now now we're getting to kind of show what we really have. Uh, Talia has been here for a while, but it's only his eighth game. It's almost like he hasn't really had that kind of experience. Talk about him as a leader and what his huddles are like, and uh, what did he have any message, you know, in the final drive with four minutes left to tie the score up or anything special from him? Not, not nothing really special. I would say um, it was just pretty much normal. Like we, we knew we kind of were stopping ourselves um, all game, and and I felt like he kind of just told us that, like this is the time if we we need it now, and and, just, and let's go get it, and that's that's what we did. Thanks, Jay Sean.